Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video I'll let you out some highlights for October 22. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far I've made the free key door system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your game. The mouse cursor system pro, which is a really easy to use tool to help you create custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. And the free health system, which easily lets you add health to any object in your games. All right, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with an official Unity sample project all about the Unity UI toolkit. This is Unity's UI solution that is quite different from Unity UI. I've already done a bunch of research on this, but I haven't had the time to make a full tutorial yet. It's a pretty interesting system, allows you to have separation between structure, logic and visuals. And the best thing of all is how it's a tool that works for both runtime as well as editor UI. The legacy way of building editor windows and tools is really difficult, it requires tons of confusing code to build something simple. Using UI Toolkit makes that process much much easier. So that's UI Toolkit and this is a brand new free sample showcasing UI Toolkit and using it as runtime UI. It looks great, it's got lots of buttons, sliders and animations, so if you're interested in UI Toolkit, definitely go ahead and inspect the code in this sample. Up next is yet another free official Unity tool, this is a DOTS character controller. This was actually made by a third party and it was just recently bought by Unity and they made it free for everyone. It's from the same developer that made the excellent kinematic character controller, so it's very well built, made by someone who really knows how to build character controllers. This one, as the name implies, it's built on DOTS, so when DOTS come out of 1.0 and people start using it more and more, I can definitely see this one becoming super useful. It supports just about anything that you would want from a character controller, so you can walk around irregular surfaces, walk around terrain, walk on top of moving vehicles, change gravity, walk on a circular planet and tons more. Being based on DOTS also means it's insanely performant and easily supports literally thousands of controllers. So you can add this complex controller to all your enemies, NPCs or anything in your game and it really won't cost much performance at all. Then if you're making a CCG, here's a nice card kit demo. Features lots of pieces you can combine to get the cards looking exactly as you want it. The symbols can mean whatever you want, so maybe they mean an attack, maybe they mean mana, maybe terrains. Features quite an impressive amount of content for a free asset. There's also an even more expansive paid version if you like what you see. Then if you need some highly optimized grass to use in your game, check out this one. Supports a massive amount of grass, all of the blades are individually rendered. You can enable the player and objects to interact with the grass, so that looks great. It also supports lighting and grass painting and works in URP. This one is just a free demo, but it works really great, so I wanted to include it. You cannot make a build, but you can use this while developing your game, and if it fits your game, then check out the full version. Then if you need some customizable avatars, look at this one. If you'd like to add player customization to your game, then a tool like this one can be quite helpful. Features lots of parameters you can tweak to get tons of customization. It's easily modifiable, so you can even add your own custom pieces of clothing. Next up, something nice and simple, a bunch of pixel art emojis. It looks exactly what you expect, all of it really nice. So if your game has lots of text dialogue, then adding some emojis like this can really help your text stand out. Then if you're working on some kind of water game and you need a submarine, look at this one. This one is low poly, I quite like the style on this one, I think the solid colors look pretty great. For me the first thing that comes to mind is this would be a great fit in an RTS. I remember playing Red Alert and having tons of fun with submarines. And if you like this style then this dev has tons more stuff. Next for a nice tool here is Readme Light. It's a tool for helping you easily and quickly create some Readme objects. This can be excellent for adding some documentation directly onto your objects, so no need to open up a script, you just select the object and read what it does. Features quite a lot of options, you can even drag and drop some references directly in the text, so this seems like a really useful tool. Then one that looks pretty interesting, although I'm not entirely sure I understand. This one is all about sign distance fields, which is a topic that I've wanted to research for quite some time, I really only know the basics of what it means. Here this basically adds some nodes to shader graph to be able to use SDF in your shaders. It basically lets you create some shapes and play around with the thickness and how they show up. For example, I used something similar to this in the transition effect from Hades, so it seems like this would be useful for making that kind of effect much easier. Then if you use attributes in your scripts and you want a bunch more, here's a great pack. It adds 9 attributes doing all kinds of things, so you can easily add some icons, colors and labels, you can change how they can be modified, and you can add some drop down scene lists and a bunch more. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity S Store for October 22. There's links to all in the description, 
and also check out my own free and paid ads on the store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.